long pre-season, how did it all go, and uh, why are you excited about round one? Yeah, it's always long pre-season, it's long and hot. Um, been an interesting one. Been better for me this year because I've had a bit more of a run at it last year. You know, it was a whirlwind baptism of fire. Um, but, you know, having a year in it, in the job, and knowing a little bit more about it, um, being better prepared. Our players have been terrific. Had a really good pre-season. Um, got a number of players um, through the practice match period have, have a go at it. Uh, we've cut our list a little bit more than we have in last year. We're down to 46. Uh, we're hoping that that means that you know, we can give the guys a bit more opportunity this year. I think we've only got nine kids at um, private school, so um, that also means that we can give some kids a little bit more opportunity as well. So pre-season's been great, and now the real stuff begins. How impressed are you with the players and their work ethic over the pre-season, um, over practice games, seeing some of the injured players running around still trying to get into it, um, and that camp in Queenscliff as well, how important was that? And um, how impressed are you with the work ethic of the players? Been really good. Um, we really impress on the players, the need for them to, to stand up and you know, they're in charge of their own careers at the end of the day. And when the games come around that you know, we can't, we're, in, we're in outside the white line if you like and, and they're, on the, they're on the ground and they've got to make it happen themselves. So we're certainly here to support them, but it's, in the end it's their career. So uh, we really try to impress that in, onto them and I've been really impressed with their leadership right across the group. Um, the way they've driven their training um, and we're hoping that you know, translates into some good performances on, on field as well. What has been the focus over the summer? Um, oh, the, the main focus over the summer is just to you know, get some holes in the leagues, train hard, get a really good base, I guess. Um, those players that complete 80% plus of the pre-season will have a better chance of uh, having a good season. Um, so probably the main focus of the pre-Christmas certainly is fitness. Uh, post Christmas, uh, we start to you know, really uh, look at the way we want to move the ball more than anything else, um, where we want to move it to, to, and some of our basic uh, skills. What did you take out of last weekend's practice game against Eastern? Um, well, I learned Eastern are a pretty hard side. Um, a lot of uh, Eastern played a lot of 17 year olds last year so a lot of those guys in their team have got some good under 18 exposure already so they're sort of match hardened if you like and uh, they certainly took it up as five goals to nil to their way in the first quarter they certainly outnumbered at the cost contest really well they were certainly more physical than us at the start of the game and you know we, wore, we slowly uh, started to eat into that lead and throughout the course of the day and we uh, we played some pretty good football. Once we could get it outside that pressure uh, on the outside and started, we started to open the game up a little bit more, we started to score. Uh, there was very little supply to our forwards in the first quarter and a half so they were doing it pretty tough. But once we broke that line of pressure a little bit more in the second half in particular we started to score, get the ball in there a bit, a bit quicker, uh, eventually hit the front and um, they kicked the last seven points so a goal on a point to take the game away from us. The result wasn't everything. I think we got a lot out of it in the end of the day. We learnt a little bit from uh, Eastern and probably the main thing was we needed to be, be a little bit harder this week and against, you, against Sandy. What do you expect to see against Sandringham this week? What do you want to see from your players? Oh, I want to take it right up to them. Sandy have had, had a pretty good pre-season themselves. Um, both, I think Sandy and Oakley um, are usually pretty strong, certainly strong last year as well. But both those teams we ran um, away at their grounds run right to the right to the uh, death at the end and we fell short in both those games last year so I'm expecting a pretty high uh, level performance from the opposition but I think our guys can match that as well uh, I think we've um, got a pretty pretty good side ourselves, and I think if we can uh, match them in certain areas as I said a minute ago particularly inside and that we can match them in that physicality then I think we get a chance to whether their skills do the talking